Shell, a week out from the fight. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Just come in a small bit to Michael. Um, I'm feeling, I'm flying. I'm, I'm like, can't wait for this. Like, I just want to get go, get going, get on that plane, and it's real now. Like, you know, I'm fighting fifth form. I'm feeling great. I'm like looking great, and that's it. Like. <laughs> Yeah. Are, are you going to go to the fights here on, on Friday night or when no, are you flying I'm out? No, I'm flying out tomorrow, so tomorrow morning I won't be here. But um, I'll be watching, of course, like when I'm over there. Mm -hmm. is, is there any bit of sadness in it that you won't be here on Friday night fighting <laughs> time? Or are you happy to be going over there to fight? I'm happy, like, and then again, obviously I'll stay for a few days. I haven't seen, been to oh. Miami. A um, bit of sun, you know, uh, I could walk a lot in the sun, so uh, things will be easier for me, you know. Sinead, what does it mean to you? Sorry, again. No, go ahead, Garth. Um, Sinead, what does it mean to you to get the opportunity to be the first Irish woman to win a major belt in in MMA and to be fighting in Chris Cyborg, who many people consider to be the greatest female fighter of all time? Garrett, this is means my life. It means everything that I've done over the years since I'm a kid. Um, I'm trying so hard, like like. There was even no prep to even do for this fight because my whole life is is this fight. You know, I've nothing to lose. I've everything to gain. I'm not even stressing. Them. Usually, I'm stressing about a fight because I this is where I wanted to be. Like I'm here now, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. Like and try to take her head off. Like is know? it emotional as well? Oh, so emotional for me because it's 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 my dream. This is my dream that I'm living, and it's coming true. Like you know, so. The stars are aligned and everything is good for me. I'm, I'm ready to go. You look fantastic. <laughs> you do look fantastic. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Sinead, obviously you come from an extensive boxing background. We've seen the likes of Katie Taylor and Kelly Harrington, you know, with Olympic gold in this country. Do you feel like you can actually draw on your boxing experience and what sort of holes do you see in Chris Cyborg's stand-up game? That's, boxing has been like my, my life. I'm up there with the best. I'm, I'm one of I'm the best boxer in that division, for, by far. I mean, my skill set is is gold. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, the last few fights, I'm just gone like miles ab above above the girls. Like, and um, yeah, I see holes in Chris's game, and um, and I'm going to I'm going to make a pay for them. Like, you know, um, yeah, that's that's it. I don't want to really give too much away, you know. But uh, yeah. I, I've, this is my time, you know. And obviously, this is going to be your first time doing five rounds in mixed martial arts. And um, do you think cardio might play as an advantage to you? Um, just the five rounds. I just uh, obviously, but I've done the three three rounds. I've never had a problem with the doing three rounds, you know. Um, so yeah, I've, try, I've been trying my ass off, like so. I don't think it's going to be a problem, you know. The five rounds, no problem. Get in there. Do you think she might struggle with your pace for five rounds? She might struggle with me power. That's that's what she's gonna do. Like you know, um, she's gonna shoot, and that's what I know she's gonna do. She's gonna become a wrestler very fast, like the rest of them have all done. And have you really studied the Amanda Nunes fight? Because obviously that's the last time she lost. Um yeah, of course. Um, watch it, watch it all. I watched it a few of her fights over, you know. Um, and. Yeah, she's obviously she's a legend and all, but like it's, it's nothing that I can't handle. You know, that's how I feel. You feel that lack of fear is a big thing for you, because lots of you know lots of people when they go in to fight someone like Cyborg or Amanda Nunes, even Cyborg herself in a way when she fought Amanda Nunes, they've never ever fought anyone of that level before, and you have you know been in there with Katie Taylor and been in there with Kelly Harrington. Is that a big advantage for you? Yeah, of course. Like I don't I don't fear uh, Cyborg, like, and that's gonna play a thing when we the girls. Uh, for and they've already lost mentally. You see it when they get in. Like I'm, yeah, I'm ready for this. Like you know, I'm not gonna throw this moment away and take a dive. You know what I mean? I'm, I fought, <laughs> I fought the best in the world, and uh, I'm prepared for this. So I'm prepared. I suppose tactically, you know, someone mentioned there the, the Amanda Nunes fight. Amanda very much came out, countered her a little bit, but did attack her and landed some big shots. Your best performance, arguably, was the was the Leslie Smith fight, even though the judges didn't agree with it. But you're fighting off the back foot, picking out lovely shots. Yeah. Is is it a combination that you need the the defensive countering and the attacking as well? Yeah, I think a bit of both is going to play on this. Like you know, I I do like the fight. That's how uh, 
on the back foot. Like, you know, that's me, like, you know. But, um, yeah, if the moment comes where she wobbles or anything, that I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take that shot, like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not going to wait around. And you mentioned the power as well, you know, K.O. Kavanaugh, you called it for a long time. Is that something you're just trying to lay that shot on her? Hit her with the hardest shot and see if she can take it, is that what that's, you're trying to do? I <laughs> said patience is going to be a virtue here, like, you know, and uh, yeah, I just need to be patient here and I'm just try to connect mm-hmm. and that's it. And, and what's the prediction for after fight? Let's say you win. What's next? Do you want to come back here to Ireland? You know, Peter was saying about he's bringing the, the belt down to Waterford this weekend. <laughs> if he ends up. What are you going to do? Are you going to bring it into the middle of Dublin City or what are you going to do with uh, <laughs> Oh, what would I do with the belt? Of course, I'll probably, uh, like, no me, I'd throw it in the back of a school bag and fuck it in me hall. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that now, you know, so that's it. <laughs> Uh, Sinead, obviously you said uh, you know you're going to turn Cyborg into a wrestler. What sort of work on your ground game have you been doing preparing for this fight? Um, I sure I like I, I like obviously like it's taken me years to catch up on the ground game. Um, it wasn't um, wasn't the main thing like at the start, you know. Um, but I, I've caught up now. It's it's good seven years now. I've I've uh, put my life into jits like so. Um, I've been down with Sergey down in Nice, down the wrestling, one of the best in the world, uh, wrestling coach. So it's all. I'm ready. To, I'm ready wherever wherever this goes, you know. And how many rounds do you think Cyborg can last for KO Kavanagh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm giving it a three. Let's go three rounds, you know. Love it. Yeah. yeah. This is obviously such a huge, potentially life-changing opportunity, not just for you, your kids and your family down the line. When you get that call for that, what's those first few minutes like after you get the call to fight Cyborg? Uh, like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I was, like, I was, I told John, and John was like, he had to, like, slap me around the face to say, <laughs> like, this is, like, this is the biggest fight year of your life, like, do you know what I mean? And then it was just like, oh, yeah, like, so, um... Yeah, but it means the world. Then it then it kicked in, and then I was just like buzzing for days and like crying, happy crying. It's so emotional, like for me, you know. So that's how I felt. I said it to Peter, and I think it's kind of saying to you, this feels like you know, the culmination of such a, a big jury, like it's almost preordained. And just weird, I happened to get the, the notification on Twitter that you were getting a fight while I was standing under a picture of you at Driven a Boxing Club. So it just feels like a lot of things are aligning for you <laughs> yeah. on this. Does it feel like that for you from the inside? Yeah, definitely. It feels like it's it this time. Like if this happened like two years ago, I wouldn't have been ready. I, like that's how I feel. I feel like every fight is better, and I feel like that I have improved so much that the the top girl is is where I want. I should have fought for the title before, but against Julia, like I had to, I had a hand hand problem. I had to pull out, like and. Um, and I, so I did it for August. I won the title, uh, the the title challenger. So like, I fought the top uh, top five and uh, four girls in top five. I should have won. And yeah, so what's next for me is is the main girl, like you know. Thanks very much. Best of luck. Thank you. So, Thanks, Sinead. Thanks, Sinead. With uh, with Cyborg being at the top for so long, you've you've had an opponent there in a way, like someone that you can look at and know that if you get to the top, that you're going to fight them. But then you're saying that you nearly didn't believe it when you got the call. So I'm, I'm wondering where that disconnect was. Was there maybe like, did you maybe doubt that it was going to happen? Or like, what was that? What was going on there? Yeah, I doubted it. I doubted it when she started calling out with the people. Um, I was like, again, like I'm not the luckiest, you know? And I thought, yeah, like, it's just like, nah, again, like, <laughs> this, this shit is happening. Like, um, yeah, but, uh, when I when I did when the penny dropped and I finally finally realised I was like wow like, this is actually gonna happen like you know so she needs to vacate the throne because I'm coming. And that's <laughs> exactly. <it. laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 Thanks.